So the web, you know, there was this kind of pent up demand. People didn't necessarily realize it, but there was this demand. And as soon as there was a single system that got, you know, wide acceptance, it's like you have 20, 30, 40 years of ideas and ambitions for what you can do with online commerce and connecting people and wikis and you know, online collaboration, etc. suddenly found this expression. So I think a lot of the reason the web exploded is that it kind of allowed and enabled all of these things that you know were in the in the works to suddenly try to find expression. Kind of a dam bursting. CERN does physics, not computing. The, the dam bursting uh, uh, analogy is is not entirely wrong. Um, Although there was a lot of work being done uh, out there at large and, and certainly inside a physics laboratory, it, it, there was no no way that we were going to get full-scale uh, resource support for something that was totally accessory to the mainstream of what was doing what we were doing at CERN. So it had to get out with a, with a project like the web where. Uh, Nobody understands you because the the only way to make people understand what it is about is to show it to them, to make them experience it. And I said, look, this, as I click here, when I let go of the mouse button, that page is coming from Hawaii. And so he looked at this and I saw his eyes widen. And I clicked another one and another page came up with another bunch of dinosaurs. And then he pushed me aside and grabbed the mouse and began clicking himself. And <laughs> when the web came out and you could just very easily with some very simple handwritten in the early days, markup language, HTML, uh, you could make a page and you could make put a picture on the page and make links to other pages. And it was immediately a kind of a revelation if you wrote a uh, web page and it adhered to the HTML standard, it could be read by anyone who had a browser that could read the HTML standard. And that meant that very quickly we had competing browsers, we had competing websites, we had an open ecosystem that anyone could join. The core question is what is the value that defines the web? And my, my belief is that the value is neutrality. And I think the future of the web as this neutral platform will depend on the extent to which uh, policymakers remain committed to that neutrality by resisting the dominance of market players um, who would uh, compromise that. We need to repair or complement or supplement the infrastructure so as to preserve the basic experience by content providers and users and application providers of this as a neutral platform that encourages innovation and creativity open to all. In the 90s, when everyone was looking for ways of sharing information, the idea was it was all meant to be for the good. It was to open up knowledge. It was to enable communication between people across the world. Everything was all about what we could do for the good. And that feels now as if it's turned on us. It, the big question is, how do we protect ourselves from the bad things without losing all the good things? And this, to me, is why the web conference is so important. You have to look at it from many different angles, the, the economics and regulatory systems, the law, uh, philosophy, politics. We need to be discussing how we take the web forward in such a way that it's good for humanity.
Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Leila Zia. Uh, I'm one of the general chairs uh, of the Web Conference 2019. Um, I'm the head of research at Wikimedia Foundation, the foundation that operates Wikimedia and its sister projects. I'm also the co-president of web for good um, the nonprofit 501c3, 501c3 nonprofit organization that organizes Web Conference 2019. So good morning, I'm Ricardo Baeza Gates. I'm CTO of Intent, a semantic search technology company. I have many academic hats in many places, North System here, UPF in Spain, my alma mater in Chile, and also co-president of Web for Good, this uh, a small uh, enterprise that allows us to do this. And uh, we are here on behalf of uh, an amazing team of people who have worked with us since 2015 to organize this conference for you in 2019. I ask the team, if you're in the room, please stand up. Um, they have done an incredible amount of work uh, over the past almost four years. Uh, I see Evgeny, Ryan, Ling, Fabian, Kirtian, others. Welcome. Thank you. So we are here um, this year to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the web with you. As you know, uh, in March, web turned, turned, turned 30. <laughs> and uh, we are at a time that more than 50% of the world's population is connected through internet. Um, so this is an opportunity for us to reflect back, ref reflect back at the web that we wanted to build and at the opportunities that we wanted to provide to people all across the world. We have created a theme for the conference and a program for the conference, which is around the topics which are around um, openness, inclusivity, <clears throat> balance, and safety on the web. And in general, we have wrapped everything around the broader topic of web for good. So, so I hope you can see the inclusion that we have tried to make this year. And thanks for coming here. We have uh, more than 1,600 people. So that's amazing, we, will, we never knew how many people will come and we get do the, the good prediction at the end. So we have 1,640 people and 26% of the students. So I think it's uh, and many from industry and many from academia. So thanks to all the sponsors that helped us. So we had Microsoft, Diamond Level, Amazon, Bloomberg, and Google, Go Level, then Criteo AI Lab, Cisco, Intent, Spotify, Yahoo Research, and Wikimedia Foundation, Silver Level, then Baidu, Didi, eBay, Facebook, LinkedIn, Megagon Labs, Mix, Mozilla, Netflix Research, uh, Curie College of Computer Science of Northeastern University, Pinterest, Quora, Visa Research, Walmart Labs at Bronze Level, and also we had the help of Airbnb, Let Go, the Moore Foundation, Web Casters and, and three publishers. So thanks to all of them. So about the topic uh, of inclusivity, openness, and web for good, we have put a program together that can help us uh, reflect on these topics. So generally, there's a lot of reflection and celebration of the anniversary of the web, um, renewing our commitments to an open web, um, and welcoming new audiences, we have put, the team has put a lot of effort for opening the doors of the web conference more and more to policymakers, to MDs, um, to human rights experts. Uh, you have seen some of this already in the workshops that happened on Monday and Tuesday, and you will see more of that um, as we go through the program Wednesday through Friday. Um, and uh, we have also created more opportunities for interactions. Um, these are kind of simple things like extended lunch hours or having uh, social events that you can interact with each other and hopefully you can take some of the conversations from the program to these um, spaces and uh, continue those conversation. Um, we introduced more specifically three new programs uh, this year. Uh, these are one day tracks. Uh, today there is Web of Health and we will come back to it, uh, introduce it a little bit more in detail. Tomorrow there's the future of the open web and uh, on, when, on Friday we have designing an ethical web. We invited keynote speakers who can speak to the theme of the conference um, and um, help us align some of the program and our thoughts uh, with the way that they have been uh, innovating in the areas of the web. 
Um, we also adjusted the call for contributions for workshops, tutorials, um, and papers to reflect these themes. And we put also more emphasis on student scholarships. So we'll come back to that later. So workshop and tutorial were selected by Sihem Amer Yahya, Mohamed Madian, and Ashish Goel. Um, so I think we already saw some of them. And basically, we selected together 23 workshops with 109 organizers. And the tutorial were 22 tutorials with 45 people presenting them. And also, we have the collocated uh, Web for All a traditional event in the first two days of the conference. So also, on yesterday, we had the big track, which is more like a big data industry track related to the web. And that was organized by Vanya Josefowski and Leanne lewin Aitan, And that was by invitation and had uh, 300 people attending. So it was a complete success. So the keynotes, we have three very good keynotes. The first one today, Jeff Dean, uh, doesn't need any presentation. Uh, tomorrow, Claire Wadler. And uh, Friday, Lawrence Lessig, do you want to say something? Yeah, and about uh, the Friday keynote, uh, unfortunately, there was um, uh, a death in an immediate uh, family member in Lawrence Lessig's uh, family. So uh, they had to cancel the keynote on Friday. Uh, it's obviously a huge uh, loss for them and their family. So our thoughts um, with Lawrence, who worked with us through the past year and a half, he has been really um, a thought partner for many of the stages that we have been going through the conference as we were organize, as we were planning to organize. Um, our con condolences to him and his family. Uh, we are planning uh, for um, basically the slot that is open, um, but we just wanted to take a moment to appreciate all the work that he has done and send him our uh, our condolences. So there will be a surprise in the schedule on Friday. So on Friday, we have the panel that to reflect the 30 years of the web. Uh, the moderator is uh, Tom Simonite from Wired Magazine. And the confirmed panelists are, are Robert Kalyu, formerly at CERN, and Jamie Thieven from Microsoft. And there will be another surprise. And with this, uh, we're going to turn the mics to Ling Liu and Ryan White, who were the program chairs uh, for the Web Conference 2019. Please help us in welcoming them. All right. Just one second here while I project. Okay, yes, so I'm, I'm um, going to um, talk a little bit about the um, research uh, uh, program for this year. There are, there are a few um, um, things I'm going to um, go th uh, through. Um, the first being what's um, uh, new um, this year. We um, made a few um, alterations to how uh, we did things, so um, I'll speak a little bit about that. Um, a bit about uh, sub, uh, submissions, um, the PC, and um, a few more things. And um, to start off with, uh, new this year, we we had um, six-page um, short papers, which um, replaced the two-page. Um, uh, posters that we'd had before. This um, provided more uh, space to sort of um, convey I ideas. Um, we accepted um, um, some of the full papers for um, talks and some for only uh, 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 posters. This um, allowed us to have a higher ac uh, acceptance rate. You know, we're up to 18% um, um, acceptance rate um, this year compared to uh, uh, 15, I think, in the um, years before. 
we um, um, give every um, paper, either um, full paper or short paper, uh, the opportunity to, pre to present a um, uh, uh, poster, which um, um, they'll be in the uh, afternoon on each of the um, next few um, 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 days. And we, uh, we also had um, full to short con uh, conversions as well, where we um, accepted a few uh, full papers that seemed to have a uh, valuable contribution. We accepted those as um, short papers. Well, um, a bit about the um, PC. So we had um, 12 tracks, um, a lot of um, track chairs, but two to th um, three per track. Um, at least one was um, non-US based, about one quarter uh, female. Um, 69 SPC members, um, th um, three of the tracks had an SPC. We um, left that up to the, uh, tr um, tr the uh, track so they could, um, they, uh, could pick if they um, wanted an SPC or not. Uh, 100 and, no, sorry, uh, 1,112 PC members, so um, a large group, and um, 594 externals as well, right? So these were um, people who were uh, brought in either by us or the SPC or the PC to uh, perform um, ad um, additional um, reviews of uh, the uh, papers. Um, we had um, about um, 5,300 papers, on average five per PC member, um, meta reviews for most papers, all papers that are at least th um, three reviews, discussed them in detail, and uh, we had a um, two-day in-person PC uh, meeting as well. Just a few um, stats on the papers. So we um, received um, 1,608 uh, submissions, um, up a bit from last year, um, um, 1,200 or so um, full papers, um, 360 short papers. And um, over here on the, the um, right-hand side there, you have the and distribution per track. And the conflict of interest track was for um, track chairs who um, wanted to submit a paper to their own track. So for those we um, PC chairs, we um, took um, care of those papers. Um, a bit about the um, geo, uh, geographic distribution of uh, submissions, so um, mainly from the US and um, China, but you know, we did have um, 52 um, countries represented across six different uh, continents. 65% uh, of pap um, papers also had a, a student as the main um, um, author as well, which was uh, great to see. And this is just how it breaks down as well when you get down into the um, tail. In terms of um, ac um, accepted um, papers over on the left-hand side is broken out by um, country. Um, short is in blue, um, full is in uh, green. You'll see again um, US and um, Ch um, China on top there, but um, a lot of other um, um, countries are also there too, which, which is great. In terms of institutions, um, a good mix of academia and industry there as well, which is obviously um, great to see as well. Um, in terms of the acceptance rates, um, overall we're at 18% for 
full papers, almost 20% um, uh, for short. Um, per track, there's a fair amount of, uh, uh, um, of uh, variation per track, but not a, not a lot, I guess. I mean, it sort of ranges from 15% uh, um, to 23%, um, right? Um, and uh, um, short, I think there's probably more um, va uh, va um, variation for as well. Um, just acceptance rate per um, country as well, which is also interesting to look at. Um, uh, all, um, Austria did the best, but quite a long ways. <laughs> Close to 60% um, of the papers from there got in, um, and then it um, drops off from there. But it's really in, um, interesting to um, look at those stats. We also had um, de um, demos as well, and the PhD um, symposium too. They were both well uh, attended. I'm going to hand over uh, to Ling now, who's going to um, thank the track chairs. And just some more things. Thank you, Ryan. So um, I am going to just uh, thank uh, all, the, all the people actually contributed to the technical program as reviewers, as track chairs. The first, I want to thank all the track chairs. We have uh, 12 tracks and 23 track chairs. Can all the track chairs who are here please stand up? Um, is it uh, not turned on? Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. Okay. So. Um, okay. So I would like to thank all the track chairs. Please, all the track chairs, stand up first. I can see how many of you are here. Let's give them a round of applause. And uh, basically, I want to um, um, talk a little bit about the, the track chairs, because they actually the ones who actually invite PC members and organize their PC teams and uh, managing with all the tracks uh, and paper discussions among the PC members who review the paper and then um, organize the PC tracks recommendation before they come to Atlanta we had all the track chair, and with Ryan and myself, we sit for two days to discuss the papers. So therefore, every paper who get accepted is a great paper. Every paper who are not getting accepted this year is unlucky. There are still good papers, okay? So you just, uh, these, uh, the things can have a lot as well, okay? And the next uh, things I want to thank a little bit is, uh, is the Best Paper Award uh, Committee. So do we have all the committee members are here? Please stand up. Let's give them a pop. So what we did is uh, during the track chairs uh, meeting and we asked each track to recommend the two papers and some track recommended three papers. And uh, basically the committee take all these papers, they read it again and they read the reviews, they read the paper again, they select the short list, and then they study them again in order to pick up the best paper. So it's a lot of work involved, and they did it for a couple months, and then they pick up the two best papers, one short best papers, and uh, they are going to be announced at the end of the, uh, the Friday for the celebration of the 30th years uh, web and also the award ceremony. So hope people will attend. And the uh, next thing that I want to say is uh, there are three important poster track chairs. Are you all here? Please stand up. The poster track chairs? Okay. They are very important because, um, because from today, we have every day a poster sessions, and uh, we need all of you to vote the best posters as a people's vote. 
and they are the one organizing the poster a sessions and collecting the vote. So, and you should know their faith and, uh, and work with them and help us select the best a posters for the award as well. And uh, I think that's all for, for, for the PC programs. Last one, I want to, I want to all the PC members who served to this uh, conference uh, PC programs, please stand up. How many PC members are here? Please stand up. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Enjoy the conference. No, I just wanted to say with the, with the change that was done in the program committee, uh, we could get to a reasonable acceptance ratio that means more inclusion for, to more researchers. Yeah, so we're going to move fast a little bit because we are short in time. Um, I am going to announce, we're going to go alternatively announcing the, the special tracks. Today, Web of Health will happen starting 10.30 in Garden A plus B. Um, attend the event, it's going to focus on um, health on the web. Um, it's a con continuation of many events that has happened as, as part of the co web conference in the past years. Um, the kind of the biggest pitch for this year is that you will have real MDs in the room. So go and enjoy. To, tomorrow we will have the future of open web. That's also to reflect the 30 years of the web. And this will happen also in Garden A plus B, 1030 tomorrow. On Friday, you will have the designing uh, an ethical web. That's the special track. And the focus of the track is on the role of technical design um, and standards on web, web development and human rights and ethical web. Uh, again, same room, same time on Friday. Um, student scholarships, uh, very quickly, uh, we will call them out. Uh, we had 15 scholarships uh, for students from the US. They were given to 100%. Uh, they were given to women. Uh, that was we from NSF? Yes, uh, this is an NSF grant. And then outside of the United States, we gave 14 scholarships. 43% were women. The countries that the students were coming from are from Australia, uh, Chile, China, Ecuador, India, and Vietnam. Code of conduct. Uh, the conference has a code of conduct. We encourage you to read it. There's a link to it. Uh, please, uh, at a very high level, respect diversity. Do not harass. Do not be part of the silent majority. This means if you see a case of harassment or if you see a case which is kind of not indicating inclusivity, please speak up and uh, please do not remain silent. Report any issues. The link to who, where you should report um, is on the website. Please check. Generally, it's Ricardo and I. Um, you can talk with us. Um, now we're going to welcome IW3C2 Chair Professor Dame Wendy Hall. Oh, I can just do. I just want to. Okay. All right. Just do. Okay. Fine. 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 That's me. Um, most of you know who I am. Um, I just want to say on that video, I can't believe how old I looked. Uh, when I, when I first met Tim and Robert in 1990, I was the youngest lecturer in computer science in Southampton. Um, I'm now probably the oldest professor in computer science in Southampton. It's a bit scary, uh, but. Um, uh, I, I really hope that um, when I said at the end the web's got to be good for humanity, that means the whole of humanity and there's a whole 50% of people out there who are not that much part of this community and uh, this conference has been hugely about diversity and the next 30 years of the web has got to be about being a very inclusive web, uh, otherwise we've failed. That's just my little passion point. Now, I am here as chair of IW3C2, that acronym that ro rolls off the tongue. Um, I could give a prize for who could say what it stands for. It's the International World Wide Web Conference Committee, and you have to blame Robert Caillou, I think, for calling it that. Um, uh, we have run the conference series since 1994. It was, it is, it was, and it is, and never was a W3C conference. Jeff is here from W3C. They do their own conferences. They are here. This is an IW3C2 conference, and uh, people run it for us every year. Um, we rebranded last year in Lyon. We are now at the web conference. And if you say the three-letter acronym, you have to put money in the uh, box. Um, and um, 
This, we have long wanted to run a conference in the Bay Area. Um, the legendary Bebo White, who is in the front row here, uh, ran the Santa Clara conference, as the, the uh, conference in 1997, down the road. That was the last time we were in this area. And Bebo helped hugely to get, um, encourage the team. And as, as Lila said, they started work on this in 2015. We set our conferences three in advance. Next year is Taiwan, the year after is Slovenia. Um, so in 2015, we started talking about running the conference here. And they've thanked everybody else. And I just want to thank Rick and Lila because they have really put themselves on the line for this conference, absolutely. <laughs> So on behalf of IW3C2, thank you so much, and thank you for pulling together such a great conference. I don't want to make it competitive, but I think we've already beaten Leon from last year in terms of registrations. I, the Leon team are in the front here, so they may disagree when it comes to the stats. Right, I am actually here. Next slide, please, to announce the Seoul Test of Time Award. Now, Seoul and uh, uh, Chin Wan is in the audience here, was the was the uh, chair of the Seoul Conference, which wasn't possibly the biggest, but it made a lot of money. And uh, he's put that back into the conference, and they have invested in this Test of Time Award, so we were able to present the award every year uh, to um, a paper that has stood the test of time um, in terms of uh, uh, the, where the web is going and the underlying uh, research work that supports uh, the ongoing uh, healthy web. Now, um, so if we, I'm going to announce now the winners. It, it is uh, public knowledge. There's a, it's on both ours and, and the conference website. And the winners uh, for this year, for 2019, are uh, the paper was the, can you, is there a slide for this or just, no, just says that. Okay. <laughs> the paper was the Eigen Trust Algorithm for Reputation Management in P2P Networks. And the authors were Sapanda Kamvar, Mario Schlosser, and Hector Garcia Molina of Stanford University. And Sapanda and Mario are here to collect the. Oh, oh, hang on, before you clap, Chin Wan, come up to stage, you're going to present it. Sorry, this is Chin, Chin Wan here. This is the award. Oh, we only, my lovely assistant down there brings the awards over, gets them engraved. Each, each author will get one. We've got one today. We want to take that. Um, so, I want to ask Seb, Sabanda and Mario to come up and uh, accept the award. Congratulations. from yeah, the okay, winners. Okay, okay. This is a really special award. Just very quickly, now I can't uh, let this opportunity pass without saying something. Um, it's, thank you so much for this, uh, Wendy. It's amazing to, to be here. It's been 16 years since we were in a room like this presenting this paper. Um, and I think we both were discuss discussing last night at dinner. We really missed those times. Uh, we were both broke, two, two broke grad students. Um, and uh, I was sleeping on the floor in Seps in a house that you were renting in Palo Alto with five others. Uh, and um, we just want to get some free music from the web at the time. That was really the, the, the genesis of this paper. And uh, the Peter Peanut Brooks had kind of gotten clogged up with all kinds of malicious contents. And um, the serendipity was that we realized we can take, combine two things. We had totally independently worked on that summer. Seb on PageRank, myself on uh, P2P hash tables, and combine them and get something really interesting. And, and that was... Uh, a great, I think, to me, is a lesson for life. You have to have more of those random conversations. Hopefully, you can have them here at the conference as well. And sleep on more people's floors. I guess that's the other, <laughs> other takeaway take there. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll just add one more thing to that, which is um, uh, we had a tremendous amount of fun writing this paper. And I, I remember I had been, uh, I was a graduate student, and I had had an office to myself um, and then one day I got a note saying that I will have a new office mate, and I was pretty upset about it. It turned out that it was Mario. Um, <laughs> and little did I know that a year later he'd be sleeping on my couch and leaving his Cheerios on my floor, and we'd be <laughs> writing a paper together. And, and 18 years after, we still remain very close friends, one of my closest friends. And so uh, it's um, the nature of creative research leads to collaborations that lead to close friendships, and that's, that's been a pleasure for me as well. So thank you. Thank you.